and I have my containers ready over here and I want to show you today how easy how simple it is to grow your own sweet potato slips people know there's two methods of growing sweet potato slips some people put them into a, a jar with water into them and turn the tater up or potato sweet potato up and I put toothpicks around it and but I prefer putting it into the soil because you get so many slips off of one potato it's so easy you don't have to tend to it much and the potatoes love it so sweet potatoes like the temperature between 70 to 80 degrees well it is January fixing the head right into February and the greenhouse stays a good amount of temperature around 70 plus degrees at this point in time and that is when it's kind of closed up and no fans running or anything but still the temperature at this time of the year is really optimal now in the past I have took and put my soil into and my potatoes into the house but you know I, my house wasn't warm enough for these potatoes sweet potatoes to grow now these are Georgia Jets and uh, I think it's going to work well here into the greenhouse. As a matter of fact, I had one container already got sweet potatoes in it. It was in the house, been in the house for a week. Haven't re really seen much change. But so let's go over here and take a look on how we can make our own sweet potato slips and save money onto your homestead. I am ready to get the planting. So come on over here. Slips didn't work out or I wanted to plant more. So... Just as a precautionary, I bought more slips. But you see the difference in the color. A big difference. But once these potatoes, you know, this year, they because of my soil, it should change to that color. Now, these are Georgia Jets. And making slips, it doesn't matter how your potatoes look. Because like in the garden, when potatoes get cut up into the garden after they've been harvested, the little pieces, just little pieces, will make slips into the garden. So some people will take these and cut them in pieces and put them in the soil. Some people will take this and cut it in half, maybe a little bit bigger, but cut it in half and put it in the soil. That's something to experiment with, but I just personally just like to put them into the soil just like it is. Now this container right here already has potatoes in here. And these are the ones that's been in the house. So there's, there's potatoes. You don't plant them very deep. You're just going to kind of go down and cover them up a couple of inches. And uh, they'll be just fine and they'll take care of themselves. Now what I'm using... Um, this is a garden soil that I got from Lowe's and uh, I have used just regular garden soil and you have to make sure that your container is really draining really well I had a planter that was draining really well but my because I was using a dark rich garden soil and uh, once that water gets into that soil it kind of just stays there longer with dark rich black soil and uh, so my potatoes rotted so this has worked last year, so I was using the garden soil, um, and that's what I'm going to be using this year. Now I have different sizes, and you know, it doesn't matter the size. The reason I'm showing these is because you don't have to have one this big to make slips. Potatoes don't care. So what we're going to do... Now, I don't have much soil in here, but I have enough. It's probably about, say, five, six inches. And the good thing about this is when this is over with, you got your slips, you can still use this soil. So I'm just going to plant it and cover it. If I need more, I can put more in here. They don't have to be any certain way. Just get them in there.
So they're only going to be planted about two inches down. So it don't have to be pre precise. And that's it. So this soil that before I added this up underneath where the potatoes are at, I did dampen it a little bit because once it came out of this bag, it was a little bit damp, but not really. It was, it's going to really dry out fast in this greenhouse. But I'm going to leave that just like that. Come over here to our next one. And just do the same thing. The thing about the little ones is, is that, you know, you can, you can kind of get a lot in. And it doesn't matter. Last year, I think I had three or four big potatoes. Got all the slips I wanted and some. That was a big one. I might need to put it in that one a little bit deeper. That's it. Now sweet potatoes, they have the minimum carry. It doesn't take a whole lot. Once you get these in the ground in your garden, then you're going to plant them about 18 inches apart. You're gonna, your row is going to be about 3 to 4 feet in the middle, but you're going to be planting these. And you can go to 12 inches, 12 to 18 inches apart. And you want your bed to be wide and raised with a ridge about 18 inches tall and about three feet, three or four feet wide. Now the, the pH is going to be about 5.8 to 6.2, say 5.8 to 6. And they don't have to you take a whole lot of care. You, to begin with, you just keep the weeds out and uh, then eventually they get their vines going and they pretty smother out all the, um, the weeds. You see, I'm just gonna—I'm just putting them in there. After harvest time, you know, last year, uh, I guess because of the drought, the potatoes went really deep. I was digging a foot down into the ground, getting potatoes out, literally foot to foot and a half. I, I was amazed. So I was really trying to make sure I didn't leave any because when you leave some, then the potatoes get all cut up, and then you got these little potatoes into the ground, pieces of potatoes into the ground, and they just make slips. So I constantly pulled these out after harvest, pulled the little slips out, little pieces of potatoes, because it just continues to grow until um, frost time. Let's see if I got any more room. I don't know if I got any more room now. We got a potato everywhere. Move that one over. Stick it in there. And we are ready. Sweet potatoes is a good source of beta carotene, um, vitamin C, potassium. And you know, the thing about this is that this is simple and easy. All you got to do is watch it now, make sure it don't get too dried out, you know, and water it, uh, moisten it up. You know, you don't want to make sure your soil doesn't stay soggy wet because your potatoes are right, just like any other potato, you know, white potatoes red potatoes or whatever but um now all they got to do is grow and i believe in this greenhouse because right now the temperature is around 78 which would be great for these potatoes for this soil to go ahead and warm up and it's going to take uh, between uh, 90 to 120 days uh, for harvest time for these slips to grow it's going to take about six weeks or so depending on this soil how warm it gets how warm it stays plus we got some cold weather coming in so the greenhouse is going to be a little bit cooler, but um, but nevertheless, and you could move it in your house if your house stays really warm. Like when, when it's cold and the wood stove's going all the time, it's, it's like 80 degrees in there or so. And so that would do great. That That's why I had this one in there earlier, but, you know, it's kind of warmed up. So the wood stove's not going as much, and it's actually cooler in the house than it is outside. But this is the way you grow sweet potato slips. It's plain, it's simple, it's easy. You know, you can go to the grocery store, get you some sweet potatoes. 
Uh, just know that possibility they've been sprayed with something to keep them from sprouting. Eventually they will sprout. As you can see on these sweet potatoes here, this is last year's harvest. I think uh, my last part of my harvest was the end of September. Um, somewhere around there, beginning of October before the frost came. And you see they haven't sprouted. So, you know, I had one, one little potato started sprouting. So that's telling me it's getting near sweet potato time. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. You know, your pH, I, I think I said a while ago, about 6, is 5.8 uh, to 6, 6.2. Um, yeah, 5.8, 5.8 to 6.2 will be around your pH for these sweet potatoes. Well, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. And, uh, yeah, so we've got this going on now. And now we just have to wait for our new slips to come in that didn't cost anything because these potatoes are grown here onto the homestead. Thanks guys. See you on to the next video. Yeah, sweet potatoes. Can't wait to see these come up.